it's Teresa with ReeStixon.com and today I am inspired by fall. I am sick to death of summer and the slightest little hint of a little bit of briskness in the air has me dreaming. So I've come up with a recipe today to kind of get me in that fall spirit. It's using some wonderful fall vegetables that I love so much and I think they are criminally underused. So today I'm going to make a buttery parsnip and leek vegetable dish. So this is a leek and it's, um, it, it looks a little sad right now, but none of this will matter because all of this part we're not gonna eat. Um, we are going to cut this right at where those leaves start to spread out. And then before I start chopping, I'm gonna give this another rinse because the only thing that is tricky about using leeks is they can be a little bit difficult to clean. As it grows out of the soil, uh, a lot of dirt can get trapped in all those tiny little rings. So just give that a quick little rinse, kind of cut off the root, and then I'm gonna chop that up into little rounds like this. Aren't these pretty? And so this is three, well this is two leeks, and I'll do one more leek, so I'll have three total. And that's what, like three cups? You know, we're not gonna be strict about measuring for this recipe. And this is a parsnip. So it's like a little naked carrot. This is the color that it actually comes, this yellowy orange. And then this is what it looks like after you peel it. You treat it exactly like a carrot. You can use it any place you would use carrots, especially in a stew or cooked alongside a hunk of meat. And it'll give you a little bit of variety. It's, it's like a sharp flavor in addition to this carrot sweetness. I love them. So peel that. I'm going to chop off the ends and chop it into little rounds just like I use, uh, uh, just like I do with my carrots. So I'm going to finish chopping and then we'll start cooking. This recipe is very simple. So all you'll need is a big carton of chicken broth, um, some butter, and your vegetables. So the first step is to sweat your leeks. Leeks are a member of the onion family, so you can treat them just the same. And leeks and butter, they are like just the best things, just the best things to go together. I mean, it's like peanut butter and jelly, leeks and butter. So don't be shy and don't you dare use anything that's not real butter. So I'm gonna put in about half a cup um, into my pot and then my chopped up three leeks in there. And then I'm just gonna leave it on the stove for a while to sweat. And now when you're sweating, the trick is to keep the heat low. If you're starting to hear a sizzle, turn your heat down. You want it low and steady and it'll just extract all those gorgeous flavors until it just starts to melt. So it's luscious. So I'm gonna put this on the stove, let this sweat, and then come back once that's all done and we'll add the parsnips. I wish, oh how I wish, that YouTube was scratch and sniff because you guys, would not believe the smell here. It is incredible. But I've got my leeks all melty and gorgeous. I turned the heat up just a second at the last bit just to give it a little bit of a golden color. Um, and so that part's done. So now I'm gonna take all of my parsnips. And like I said, there's no measurements here. I did, I don't know, maybe eight parsnips. I think this is maybe guessing six cups, but it doesn't matter. So I'm gonna pour this whole thing into my pot with my leeks and oh my gosh it smells so good okay and then I'm going to pour in this whole carton of chicken broth so the chicken broth is basically just going to it's like I'm boiling carrots now um, but the chicken broth will make it taste better because it's like I always say you never miss an opportunity for flavor so why use chicken or why use water if you can use chicken broth? But if you do have reasons, if you're a vegetarian or I don't know, watching your sodium or you just don't have any handy, water will work. Uh, and so I'm just poured in this whole carton, and I'm gonna just put this back on the stove, and I'm gonna cover it and just let these parsnips kind of steam and boil in the chicken broth, and then kind of cook down. And that's really it. That's the recipe. So 
I'm gonna get this back on the stove and I'll show you how wonderful it is when it all cooks down because this chicken broth and kind of the, the starchiness from all the vegetables just starts to make this beautiful sauce. And so that's another reason to use chicken broth is because then your, your flavor is already done for you. But if you're not, you know, you might wanna add some herbs or some, definitely some salt. Um, so just let this cook and then I'll show you what to do with it after. But if I was cooking this for my family right now, I just let this sit on the stove and turn my attention to the rest of the meal because it's an easy one to just have on the burner while you're working on other things. So I'll show you what this looks like when it's all done. It's all done and it smells incredible. And it was, I mean, it really could not have been less trouble, right? Now, I still have quite a bit of chicken broth left but I'm going to leave that because I think how I'm going to use this tonight is I'm actually going to toss um, a couple chopped up chicken breasts in there, let the chicken breasts poach and all that liquid, and then serve this whole thing over rice for just a really simple weekday supper. Um, if you let it cook down a little bit so that the chicken broth gets a little thicker, then you can serve it just as a side dish like you would um, you know, mashed potatoes or something, or you can actually mash this up and just serve it completely in place of mashed potatoes. I'm going to use all of this great chicken broth like a gravy on my rice, but it's a really simple and versatile way to get some more vegetables in your diet, and especially those vegetables that we don't use very often. The parsnip, it, since it's like a carrot, it's kind of wood, woody, and so it can really hold up to a long cook time. So you can do anything you want with this. You can make this um, sauce as thick as you want and just let it go for a long time. And it'll be delicious. And those, those leeks give you that buttery sharpness that you guys are just gonna love. So I hope you give this a try and that you love it and that it'll go perfect with all of your fall dinners you have coming up and uh, enjoy. We'll see you guys next time. Bye-bye.